Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Jenny. I am from Jenny Card Designs and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. I was watching a video this morning and I was a little inspired and I wanted to come in and introduce myself and say hello and so that you know I'm just a little bit more than the picture of my face and these two hands. So I just wanted to make my video a little bit more personal for you. Um, maybe you might enjoy it a little bit better. This is definitely not my strong suit. I'm not much of a public speaker and I don't like people looking at me when I talk. So this is definitely, I'm out of my element here. But I just, I wanted to just sort of try this and see if um, it was something I would be comfortable with. I watched a Jennifer McGuire video this morning and along with a Laura Basson video. And now what I saw was something that inspired me so much so I will link in the description below the two videos from the ladies that I watched this morning and it was from a Pink Fresh Studio new release uh, of Slimline cards. So if you've ever watched any of my previous videos I've designed some templates called the Genvelopes and they're a free downloadable PDF that you can download and it's basically a handmade envelope template so that you can create envelopes out of any of the cardstock in your stash. So this morning I was inspired to uh, do a video today in regards to the slimline card. So what I've got for you is a slimline card genvelope template. In this video I'm going to show you how to cut and score the slimline card and then create the slimline envelope. So this is a little, um, it's a different style and it's really fun to have those new sorts of inspiring things coming out. So I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that you enjoyed saying hello. Let's get into today's project. Okay, so I have a couple of things to show you here today. I've got an envelope to show you as well as a slimline card. Okay, so we'll start with the card because that's the easiest. So our card, we're going to cut it from a regular cardstock. So our card measurements are going to be seven and a half by eight and three quarters. And we're going to cut the cardstock on the eight and a half inch side. We're going to cut it down to seven and a half. So seven and a half. And then we're going to turn the cardstock to the 11 inch side and cut it at eight and three quarters. That's all we're going to need the cutter for. So the next measurement we have we'll need a scoreboard for and we're going to score the seven and a half inch side at three and three quarters so seven and a half inch side score at three and three quarters and we'll fold our cardstock and use the bone folder to burnish the edges and we have a gorgeous perfectly cut slimline card. So that's the card. Now let's do the envelope. So the envelope, this is what we're going to create. We're going to create an envelope that's top folding and we're going to be able to slip our card into this. Okay, so all you'll need for this is one eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock. So we'll start, or in our scoreboard, we'll start on the eight and a half inch side and we will score our first score at two and a half inches. And then our second score will be six and a half inches. Okay, and then we're going to rotate the cardstock to the 11 inch side. Rotate our cardstock. And we're going to score at one and a half inches and ten and a half inches. So we're done with the scoreboard. We'll just put that aside. Okay, so now we're going to make some cuts into this cardstock. In case you can't see the score marks, 
this is how I have the cardstock laid out. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the scored rectangle here. We're going to cut that out and then we're going to cut this one out along with this one and this one. So we'll just take some scissors, make those cuts right at the score mark. Now you want to make sure these are nice and straight. You don't want any crooked cuts. If you prefer to use a trimmer blade here, you can definitely do that. This will only work for one of those trimmers that you can drop the blade down. Or you can use an X-Acto blade and a ruler. You could definitely do that. Okay, so this is where we are so far. Now what you want to do is, this is going to be the bottom of the envelope where it's going to close. So my advice for you here, you don't have to do this step, but I find that it just makes the envelope close a little bit easier. We're just going to angle cut the corner off on both sides. Because I feel like it just, it makes it, you know, all the cardstock fold together nicely. Okay, the next thing you want to do is, I like to just kind of trim this just a little bit. So I'm going to show you a little trick how I do that. Now I just measure, make a little tiny tick mark at a quarter of an inch. So quarter of an inch in, okay, and I take my ruler and I line up my ruler to the corner of this piece of the cardstock here to that little quarter inch tick mark. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to draw a very faint pencil line, okay? on that little slide there, on that corner there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm going to measure in a quarter of an inch, little pencil mark, and then line up the corner of this piece here with the tick mark and draw a pencil mark. So I'm going to cut these pieces off. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my scissors and nice and slowly, I'm going to cut along my pencil mark right to that corner. And I'm going to do the same thing here as well. I feel like this gives us a little bit of a gap to be able to insert things into the envelope. So this is where we are so far. Next thing you want to do is round the corners on the flap, on the closing flap of your envelope. So I'll take my corner chomper and sorry my corner rounder and round the corners there next thing you want to do is crease the folds so we'll take my bone folder and burnish down all of those score marks so we have a nice clean score mark with no cracks and a nice crisp edge on our envelope Now, there are one of two ways you could do this. You could take this little piece and tuck it into your envelope and close it this way. Okay? Or you can put it on the outside. Now, this morning I did notice with my original envelope that I made, my card, when I slipped it in, kept catching on there. So I think for this envelope, I'm going to put it on the outside just because I feel like it's not bothersome at all and it's it's it looks just fine so I'm gonna put it on the outside but you're more than welcome to put it on the inside like that whatever you prefer so I'm gonna grab some adhesive and now if you're going to put this flap on the inside you want to put adhesive on the outside of that flap okay now if you're going to do what I'm going to do then open the envelope up and put it on the inside so I'm going to take some score tape here and I'm going to put that, you could use anything here, you could use liquid adhesive or strong tape, whatever you prefer. And I'll put that right on the edge of that little folding flap. And then now there are two sides to our closing envelope. Now you could go this way where your fold lines up right in the center or you can fold it this way where it comes over to the left a little bit more or right, vice versa, whichever way you score your, car your cardstock. 
So I think I like it over just a little bit more. I think it's a little unconventional and something just a bit different. So I like that. So I'm going to put some adhesive on the larger flap. And then I'm going to adhere everything together. So I have a, a pokey tool to remove the release paper off of my score tape. And I will close this part first and use my bone folder to press everything together nicely. And then remove the release paper off the bottom and do the same thing. Okay, here we go, home stretch here. There's a few little pencil marks that I want to take off of my envelope. Now, this is optional. If you want, you can add a little finger hole, and I like that. So I take my uh, 5 eighths of an inch circle punch and insert it halfway in. There's little guide marks on the side of my punch that tell me where halfway is. And I will punch a finger hole into that envelope. Okay. I'm going to take a larger double side adhesive and I'm going to put it on the flap of my envelope so that when I'm ready to send this out, it will be ready to close when I need it to. And I won't have to search for tape. So hopefully your envelope doesn't have nail polish marks all over it like mine does. So here is our finished slimline card and coordinating envelope. And it slips in perfectly. And away you go. So you will find a link in the description of this video to the free downloadable PDF that I've designed just for you to be able to create this Genvelope template. Okay, just when you thought it was over, I've got a card project for you. I just didn't feel right about making a video and not sharing some inspiration with you. So I've got a couple of Gina K Design stamp sets. I have the Wild Blossoms and the Whimsical Wildflower Frame and some Gina K Designs ink. So we'll start with the card base. I'm going to get this cut up as I've shown you already once here today. So the measurements for the Slimline card are seven and a half by eight and three quarters and I'll get that trimmed out. I'm going to do some layering panels for this card and I'll just write the measurements down for you here and you can just take a screenshot and save this information for future reference. So the card again is eight and three quarters by three and three quarters. The black layer is eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. And the white panel that we'll use for stamping is eight by three. And now this is all in inches and you'll get a perfect eighth of an inch border around your white panel. Okay, so I'm taking the white panel and I'm loading the cardstock up into the Misty and I'm going to take this large leafy vine stamp from the Wild Blossom set and I've got some Gina K Designs grass green ink. I will ink up the stamp and I'm gonna stamp it a couple of times so I get a nice dark green impression. Now this stamp is meant to line back up again and you can continuously stamp it over your panel. Now. I couldn't figure out what was going on here. Um, I had it on the wrong side. So I had to switch everything around and figure out how to line it up. I taped down my cardstock in my Misty because it's hanging out just a little bit. And then I used the acetate sheet that the stamp came on to put the stamp over top and kind of move it around and figure out how to line it up so that it's nice and straight. So once I got that figured out, I went ahead and stamped <laughs> the acetate sheet. <laughs> And we're going to try this again. I'm going to take the acetate sheet off and I will ink up my leafy vine stamp. And I'm going to stamp this twice so that it matches the other part of the stamp. And then that's it for here. I'm going to take my mouse pad from my Misty and some acrylic blocks and a few ink colors. I've got Gina K Designs Blue Lagoon and Dusty Rose, and then I've got Hero Arts Passion Flower. So I've got a few of the little flowers in this stamp set, and I'm just going to switch up the colors and the flowers and just kind of stamp them, twisting and turning my cardstock, filling in the open areas where those branches are exposed to attach flowers to, until I feel like the colors are separated nicely and everything looks good. Here's a look at that bold springy pattern. 
and I'm going to adhere that to my black mat and get that adhered to my card base. Okay, now here we're going to pull in the whimsical wildflower frame set. I'm going to pull out this greeting that says, in the midst of every difficulty lies opportunity. And I think I really like that. I think it's, it's fitting for the current times that we're living in right now. And then I'm going to take some sequins and sprinkle them all around. These are just a clear iridescent sequin to give it some nice sparkle. And then we're going to move on to the envelope. So I've got another piece of my grass green cardstock. This is the same cardstock I used for my card base. And it coordinates with the grass green ink that I stamped all the vines with. So we're going to go ahead and score this creating our slimline envelope like we have already once today. So we're scoring at two and a half inches and then six and a half inches. Rotate the cardstock. Score at one and a half inches and ten and a half inches and then once we've got all of our scoring done we'll go ahead and cut out the four corners and then we're going to mark the pencil marks to just trim off that little quarter of an inch angle cut on the closing flaps and I'll do that for both sides and then I'll go ahead and angle cut the bottom closing flap as well and I'm using my long Tim Holtz shears for this. I feel like I get a nice straight cut with those. Okay, I'm gonna take my corner rounder and I'm gonna round up the corner of the closing flap and crease all of my folds. I'm going to take some adhesive and apply it to the spaces as directed, remove the release paper and close up this envelope. And now if you wanna step this envelope up just a little bit, I've got some gold foil cardstock. It's just really thin stuff, nothing too thick. It's really lightweight stuff, and I adhered it on the inside of my envelope flap. So it's just a cute little envelope liner. I think it just kind of brings an elegant touch to it. So I'm going to round the corners on that and add some of my double-sided adhesive and slip it just below the outer lip of that envelope. And that's it. Here is a close-up look at our finished project. I really had a fun time making this. So I hope that you enjoyed this inspiration and maybe you can give this a try. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending a little bit of your time with me here today. I appreciate all of the support and the likes and the subscribes and I hope that you've enjoyed this format. Um, so once again, here is our envelope templates. I'm really excited. I hope that um, I can inspire you guys to create something unconventional yourselves. So have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!